Okay, right, in the second one of these then we're going to do a snake game. Uh, if you haven't played snake, uh, you can go to Google, type in snake game, you can play it. I'll show you what it's about um, and we'll, we'll get on and make it. So here is the snake. Uh, you can press up, down, left and right and what you've got to do is collect the items and when you're collecting them your score goes up. I just crashed. The score goes up and uh, you can collect as many apples as you can and the tail of the snake gets longer so the more that you're going on with the game the harder it gets because the tail will obviously block you in at points okay so that's the snake game uh, you can go into it uh, again the snake game go into google with it right so uh, i'm gonna have scratch open again if i just type in scratch i have the desktop version I downloaded, like I said in the last video, and you should just load up. So we don't have to do a snake uh, eating an apple. You can do it um, any sprite that you want to do. You can draw your own. Again, there is a handout to accompany this video, and here they've got a mouse and a, a snake. But basically, I'm going to just do whichever one. And you can see here's the tail. Um, and obviously the objective then is to get as many of these um, uh, mice as possible and just get your score up and not hit yourself. So, okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of the cat. I'm going to go down to here. Um, I'm not going to make my own this time. You can if you wanted to. I'm going to uh, just get one. So either my sprite, I'm going to choose a sprite. There's loads of different ones you can choose from. You can just pick anything really. Um, something that would eat something else. I did look at this before and I did think I might do an elephant. So there's my elephant. Uh, again, that's quite big, so I'm going to make it smaller already. Let's go down to 50. That's it. It's going to have to go around the screen. It's going to have to be smaller than that, to be fair. Let's go to 30. Trial and error. There you go. And on the other sprite that we can go around and eat. I'm going to choose another one, and I did look at this. So I thought, what eats? What do elephants supposedly eat? All right, donuts. Uh, that was thirty. I think I put donuts. There you go, thirty, and I can place them around. Right. So, I need to program it. So the first job is to get the elephant moving, uh, and as it says on the handout here, this time it's slightly different to the, what we did uh, in the first tutorial because uh, I'm going to make it move forever by three steps and then on this time when you press the up arrow it's going to point in directions okay so it's going to move all the time on this one rather than using the X and the Y axis we're going to just keep it going and then point in different directions okay so uh, okay so we go to the event always when the green flag is clicked because that's how you start your games like we said before and uh, we're going to have that in there. Let's do the arrows. So we'll do up. Definitely pressed on the elephant. I'm definitely on the elephant. Good. Uh, let's do down. Uh, left. And right. And left. There we go. And we're going to, on the when the green flag's clicked, is obviously when it's going to move all the time. So we're going to do it forever. It keeps going around the loop forever and ever. I'm not going to explain all this again, I'll explain this in the first video. And on the motions, I'm going to move. Now, the number I can put in here, now if I put a minus in, he's going to go backwards, so I'm not going to put a minus in. I'm going to put three in. Um, let's just see how it goes. He should just fly off. See how fast he is, basically. I can put the number up, basically, to make him go quicker for so wish. That's all right, good speed. Three is about right. Okay, so he's moving forever. And then this time, I'm just going to do it in pointing direction. So again, that's in the motions. So point in direction, point in direction. I'm going to have to change these around because obviously it's got a point in different directions. Um, I'll have a look at the little hand that's what I say for this again. So they've just got zero is going to be straight up. Okay. So left, so right is going to be 90. Down is 180 degrees and then it's going to be minus 90 to go that way. Okay. So up is going to be... Ah, see, so they've got the directions on here. So down is down there, so we just point it down, easy enough. Let's click 
on that one. Left, let's go all the way around. Uh, right, let's on 90 degrees. And up. Let's do up, it's going to be zero. There, so that should work. Let's just test it. Always test as you go because you don't want to test it at the end and find out there's loads of errors. You test as you go. Trial and error on this stuff. Okay, so first bit done. And then now, uh, this is going on the mouse sprite. So, like we did in the last one, you, well, the donut for me, you've got to think of it as when the actual donut, weirdly, is hitting the elephant. Okay, you've got to think of it that way around because I need to program this to hide. Now, if I did it the other way around and I did it on the elephant, when it hit the donut, I'd, pre I'd have to do the hide. It's not going to hide the donut, it's going to hide the elephant. So, I do need to do everything on the donut because I need to hide that part. Okay, so uh, let's get our events. We're going to always start off when the green flag's clicked because remember that starts off every single process. Okay, and let's go. So forever, check it forever. So it's gonna this donut's gonna check it forever. Now I can put in other donuts afterwards. Okay, but I just need to make sure that this one's done properly. If I've got a mistake on this one, then it's going to be a mistake on all of them. Okay, so da -da, forever. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, so when, so if, so if it's doing something, okay. So if this hits, now the if statement again is the conditions. So it's testing the if, and on the sensing. So the, the sensing is obviously the bit where okay, this is the part that's ha actually happening. So what's it doing? So it's going to be touching. Now in Scratch Two, they name everything, so I don't have to call these different things, they've already called it an elephant. So as soon as the donut touches the elephant, now what do I want it to do when it touches the elephant? Okay, so there's definitely I need to hide it, so I need to make sure it disappears when he touches it. So looks is the one with the hide, because it's obviously to do with the looks, hide. And I also want to do the score, like you just saw before. And to do the scores again, you go to a variable, Okay, and I'm going to call it uh, school. And like I said in the first video, the variable is where the data is held. So I can now change the score. Now I also have to make sure that the score goes back to zero and resets when you do the actual game to start with. So I've got to put that in. Now I'm going to have to set it. So I want to make sure it is on zero. Okay, so. I can't tell at the moment, but because I've just pressed the green flag, that always goes back to zero now because I've set it back to zero. I've just clicked on the elephant, back to the donut. Right, so set the score to zero, and when it the donut hits the elephant, remember, I've got to keep thinking that way around. I want to change the score by one. I could change the score by two or three if I want to add in different ones. So let's just test this bit again go through it, up, down, left, right, change the score by one, there you go, perfect, works, and it disappeared, perfect, it's working fine. So that's very simple, so what I can do, and that will be on here as well, I'm hiding it, and then what's it doing next? Now we did discuss in the first video as well, I want it to go to another place, okay, um, so I want it to go randomly to other places so I'm going to show you that one now okay so I've got the same image that I had uh, in the last tutorial and in here you can see what's happening again with the axis because we're going to need that now because we want the donut on mine obviously uh, to move in different places around it okay so the coordinates here in the center it's zero zero X is going across Y is going up and down you can see that the total number of y going up is 180. Uh, down here it's minus 180. And on the x it goes all the way to 240, so it's a bit longer that way. And it goes to minus 240 that way. Okay, so we can use those things now. So, uh, when uh, the donut again, it's just disappeared at the moment because I've not shown it back up, so it's just hiding at the moment. So uh, what we wanted to do is go to another random place. Okay, so we're going to do go to x and y. Okay, so that again refers back to this. I can go to x and y in different places. So we're going to do that, 
and I want it to be in random places each time. If I just typed in a number here, it will go to whatever number I want on here. Okay, so if I clicked over here, for instance, it will go to that number. Okay, so uh, random is over here in operators. It's a green one, and I can pop these inside there, so they can go inside those ones. Now, x random. Okay, so x we just said it goes from minus 240 to 240. So I want it to go anywhere in between those lines. So I'm going to keep it safe. I'm going to do 200. Okay, so let's do uh, minus 200. And it can go all the way over to the other side. Oops, let's put it back in. Let's get it again. There you go. Uh, 200. Okay, so we know it's going to be across any of those sides now. So it's I could have done 240 to 240. It's going to go all the way across there. And at the moment, it's not going to do anything on the Y. So we need to just do. So I'm going the way uh, up to 180 to minus 180. I'm going to do 170. Let's keep it going inside. I don't want it to be on the edges. So minus 170 to 70. So that can be any part of that screen now because I've covered all of the different uh, positions on there. Now it's not appearing at the moment because although it's goes to there now the donut goes to these random places so anywhere at all on here um, I need to show it again because I've hidden it change the score by one and I need to show it. I need to reset it so go back to looks and show All right, so let's test this okay so so I've just got to show it back up do I um, ah yeah I've shown it back up in this place, but I haven't shown it from the start. And that's why it's not appearing with the green flag. So what I need to do is show again. So here we go. Show it back up right at the start. Set the score to zero. Reset everything completely. Hide it when it touches the elephant. Changes the score by one again. Picks a random place for it to go. And then I'll show it back up on the second time round. And again, this is looping all the way around, so it's going to constantly do this all the time. So every time the donut touches the elephant, it will. Let's go. Here we go. There we go. And that's the second show now that's working. There you go. And the score should be going up by one each time, which it is. And there you go. Done. Right. Last thing we've got to do is get a. Uh, let's just He's moving up now, don't worry, that's fine. Uh, what we need to do then, last thing, is we need a tail. And we don't want it to hit the tail, so we're putting in our obstacle. So that's our objective. We've got a high score that we could do now, and we want a bit of a... At the moment, it's too easy. There's no obstacles whatsoever. So, da, da, da. right. Now, in Scratch, the latest one, there's no pen in here. Okay, they're taking it out for some reason. So you have to go to the extensions and add it in in itself. Now that's quite cool because people can add in their own extensions and do loads of stuff. You can see it links into robots, Maker Maker, that's quite cool. Um, and so I've got pen here. Okay, so if I click on that, it's now there. I've actually just added it now, so it'll be there on all, all the time now. So what I want to do is put the pen on it. Now I could do it right at the start so when the green flag's clicked. I could put it underneath there if I wanted to. But I think I'm just going to add in another green flag clipped. And so what I want to do is put the pen down when he starts to when he's going to start with. Okay, so I can test that straight away, and you can see he's got a pen already. There you go. I'll probably set the colour. Um, I can set the colour to whatever. That's fine to be honest. I'll keep it blue. Uh, I can I probably and this is the best thing that you can do is actually change the pen size because the thicker it is the more likely it's going to sense where it is in particular right so let's see how thick that is yeah there you go okay so that is in the worksheet as well as you can see it's here so they clearing it okay so they're resetting it because you can tell from mine it's already filled it up and it's not clearing it back through you set the pen colour and just put the pen down and they've put it on um, they put it onto there on the top of there so da, 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 I'm gonna just clear and then do the pen down afterwards yeah it's, on this one now it's called a raise all okay so it should erase 
get rid of all that it does and then it does it that is really thick line actually probably better for two okay now that's all working that is going to be solid am i going to get in there great i am going to get in there because it's not sensing that i'm hitting the blue okay so what do you think the code could be then for this now i can set up another block if i wanted to i could put it into here actually if i wanted to so let's go for that one so i need to do obviously it's a condition so there we go and i want it to sense again but i need it to sense a color now my pen color is blue i might go to this this is a little pipette and i can just pick out the color there i need to because otherwise i'm not going to get the exact color okay so it forever check move three steps if it touches the color what do i want it to do i want it to finish and just end um stop all there you go stop all okay forever it has to be in the forever because it's checking it all the time so he's moving three steps moving three steps going around forever but as soon as he touches the color it stops everything there we go now it's going to be a problem and i know what the problem is it's because it's touching it all the time so we're going to sort that little error out okay here's the problem with this okay it's only a slight little problem we'll solve it in a second the elephant is constantly touching this color because the pen straight underneath it so it's not going to work so what we need to do is set in we've got to think of the sensors that we've got okay we can't use the sprite one because the sprites just the donut we've got no other sprites we've only got the two sprites so it's gonna to have to be this one here okay so when a certain t color is touching another color so that will separate him out a little bit so what we're gonna to have to do is just improvise a little bit go to his costume and we're gonna put in a little color right at the front okay now I don't want an outline I just want it to be that colors fine and I'm gonna put it in front of him okay I need it away from him a bit because I'm gonna use this as the center okay so now if I do the color that we've just done on him the little purple let's try and grab it there we go as soon as that one because it's away from a little bit if I need to I'll push it away from a little bit more okay so it's away from the blue that he's doing underneath the thickness of the line's not helping because the thickness of the line might hit that as well so if it touches this oh, pipette, the blue okay as soon as it touches that then it stops all let's I'll put the pen size down actually so let's try that oh the pen size is massive still I think you heard me there whinging about the pen size and I thought okay why is it massive I did I, I would like to keep the errors in because you can see that it's obvious you know can be an obvious or mistake that anyone can make a little bit yeah I did change size it's so obvious it's like oh wait a minute so um, sh you just feel a bit silly afterwards when you've done it you go oh right it's just the wording of it I don't want change size I just want to set the pen size and one that looks like it's pretty good to be fair and uh, it's not again again it's just trial and error just to make sure it's working because it's so thin now it's not actually actually recognizing it those colors are not hitting each other so this should be it then this should be the final thing hopefully it's there you go perfect and it works game over